A St. John's County mother made headlines for helping build bridges and transforming communities. Kathy Parker just felt a calling after seeing an ESPN feature on a high school football team that was struggling in a struggling community of Barrow, Alaska. And as a coach's wife and a football mom, she wanted to do everything she could to help the boys in Alaska. And boy, did she look at the difference. Ultimately, Kathy was able to raise more than half a million dollars in just six months to build an artificial turf field in Barrow. Now, her story is documented in her new novel, Northern Lights, and it will soon become a movie. Joining me now to talk more about this incredible story is Kathy Parker. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you for coming me. in. W will you explain to our viewers your connection, of course? I know you're a St. John's County mom, but to this community? Well, my husband was coaching at Bartram Trail High School and uh, had three boys that were playing on the team at the time. I've got a daughter, too, very involved in sports. They all grew up here in St. John's County, and we just were very blessed to have a wonderful program there. Um, very involved, very involved with sports, like most families are who, whose kids play. But we saw one Sunday morning on ESPN a story about uh, this community, uh, very far away <laughs> and you can't get any further no. but they were starting a football program in order to help keep kids in school mm -hmm. and so this is barrow alaska mm -hmm. you know we saw some of the video but explain the challenges here i mean mm -hmm. this is an area that during the winter months you can basically only get to by flying right uh, uh, you know? only yeah the only way there it, it doesn't matter what month it is uh, it is it is only accessible uh, to fly in now their products come in by barge right. or either uh, they're flown in but there's no roads going into the community so and then as a result the fact that they even just competing made that more difficult for them when they were playing on this you know this this basically mud and hard tundra earth yes. you know beneath mm -hmm. them uh, and but they felt strongly enough about having a program, you know, and and to compete, having to basically fly in other teams as an example, and not to mention building this turf and the challenges associated with getting all of the products mm -hmm. there. Absolutely, yeah. They they started the program, which was you know unbelievable that they would start something they'd never had before, and and like you said, with the many challenges, and only two uh, boys on the team had ever played. And I, say, I always say boys, but I have to say there was a girl on the team too, and Good she was a great her. athlete. I love that. <laughs> but it was it, they started that, and it was it had gotten, of course, national news about what they were trying to do, and um, it was we were putting in an artificial turf field in St. Johns County. My husband was working for the Parks and Rec as well as coaching, and he was overseeing putting in an artificial turf field in our area. And it was like, you know what, if we need this for our our kids, how much more did they need it there? Um, actually, in my mind, I thought, okay, this would be pretty easy. You know, we'll just get a sporting goods company to write a big check. It didn't happen like that at all. <laughs> but it was great because so many people came on board. The community that we lived in, as well as coming into Duval County, several people coming on board. We brought the team to Jacksonville. They rolled out the red carpet. The team visited the Jaguars, and yeah. Wayne Weaver was the owner at the time. He was so impressed, and, and he you know, was able to meet the team. And it was just something that absolutely changed our kids' lives and, and, and the team in Barrow, that our kids got to teach them how to play ball. So it was well, a wonderful and, thing. And they've gone on to do well. Oh, yes, they right? have. They With won their, their state championship in 2017. And, and when I thought it couldn't get any better, we're, we're sitting in the stands thinking, I had the privilege of going to that game and thinking, it can't get any better than this. And then they also won the highest, having the highest GPA for the football teams in the state. And, so. that, and that is the <laughs> domino effect of what you've done, is by creating this field, more athletes then stayed in school and didn't drop out. Well, and not just athletes. It gave them hope. And, That's you know, great. with sports, it, the people that are on the team, the, the young, young people that get to participate, but also the families get involved. Um, there's just so many things good that can come from being a part of a team. Do you realize that there were so many people who probably saw that story, and while they felt empathetic, they, they didn't act, and you did? It's incredible what one person can do. You started something, and it just domino effect. It's incredible. Thank you for well, caring. Thank you. And that's what I hope my book does. I hope it inspires people that when they are prompted to do something, that it encourages them, them a little bit to step out and to so do it. So where can people buy your book, Northern okay. Lights? Okay. Um, they can go to northernlightsbook.com, or it, uh, it stores, uh, the bookstores are supposed to have it, too, in this area. So uh, they can, can get it several different ways, online or 
in the stores. And when they start filming, the you know, since there's there's yeah. you know, about the movie, I, I want know, you to that, come back on and talk to oh, us, will and you? We will definitely. I would will. love to. Hopefully I would love that to. happen this year. And I, I I love for the update. Thank you, Kathy, for being here. Thank you Thank for you caring so much. so much, you and your family, and everyone who helped raise the money for the kids Thank in you. Alaska. And of course, I, as I mentioned, um, if you would like to read Northern Lights, Kathy mentioned it can be purchased on Amazon or by going to northernlightsbook.com. We'll post a link along with this interview on our website, newsforjacks.com. Rich?